Ready, set, go! Woo! Oh, so going back up the slide. Hi, Pointer! He's like doing a half bear crawl, half crawl crawl. Ready, set, go! Oh no. Oh no. Fighter, fighter. Firefighter. In the weather. In the weather. Good morning, guys. It's another rainy day here. We did some puddle jumping earlier, and then we've just been hanging out in the backyard. Gray wanted me to get the pool out because we had it out yesterday because it was so hot. But I told him no because it's supposed to rain all day. So I'm not going to put all that effort into filling up a pool just to not even use it because of the rain. So we're just playing. It's really cute. Gray, I have noticed lately, has been playing like pretend with trucks and cars way more than he ever has. He takes the fire truck and takes it around and he likes it. He has like this little green Jeep car and he takes it to the park and puts it down the slide and stuff and he had a worm yesterday he was doing the same thing so he's actually like playing pretend and it's really fun to see so that's really cute also the boys have been interacting way more with each other Porter just gets more and more active and mobile and interactive every day so I caught these really cute pictures of them yesterday I'll input those here any chance Greg gets he wants to feed Porter a bottle but it's hilarious because he'll feed it for like two seconds and then he pulls it away <laughs> because he gets tired of it and then Porter's like what the heck I want more formula so really cute they are keeping me entertained um but I am vlogging today because I wanted to document the fact that Grayson is now like 100% potty trained so we started this journey February 1st 2021 and today is July 16th, 2021. So it's been four months, a little over four months, and he finally has it down. That's so bad, I know. Don't listen to my potty training skills because obviously they're not good. But yes, he's fully potty trained now. He tells me when he has to go pee on the potty. He hardly ever has accidents. Um, and just last night, I put him in undies instead of pull-ups to go to bed, and he kept them dry. Um, so he's been doing awesome on that. We put a little kid potty in his room because he tends to have to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night. And we're still locking his door at night just because I still worry about him getting into who knows what while I'm sleeping. And he's been using that great, and so we just empty it whenever, like in the morning or the middle of the night. If I notice his lights on, I'll just empty it, and he does great with that. So yeah, he is like in undies all the time, totally potty trained, which is awesome because he starts school in like a little over a month, he'll start preschool, and he needed to be potty trained. So now what we're working on is he sometimes has problems like pulling his underwear and pants down and pulling them back up so we're working on that also if he uses the potty he tends to just like get naked and then goes on the potty and obviously you can't really do that at preschool so we're working on that um so still fine-tuning some things but yes he is fully potty trained he's not even three and a half yet so I feel so accomplished I'm so glad that's done I don't even want to think about potty training porter but yes Grayson is potty trained we are so so proud of him um he still prefers to go poop on the little potty instead of the big potty but yesterday he did go poop in the big potty so he is just doing so so good we are so happy with him hi, hi. you say hi? hi oh bye Okay, I'm documenting this. It's, like I said, it's June 16th. Porter just turned 10 months old. And this is the end of the mobile because every time he just tears it apart. And so it's a hazard now. So this is the last time we'll turn it on. He loves it and Gray loved it when he was little too. And so it's always sad when that goes away, but Oh well, that's the end of the mobile, huh? 
Yeah. Well, we're gonna take a bath, okay? In other news, unfortunately, our air conditioning unit is not working, which is a real bummer because, hang on, I'm turning the bath on. This is a big bummer because we just spent like $8,000 two years ago on a brand, brand new unit. It shouldn't have given us troubles for like eight to 10 years. And we've had it for two years and it's not working. It's working, it's running, cold air is coming out, but it's not enough and it's not keeping up with the heat. So like it's set to 71. The air temperature in our house is 77 and it's 73 degrees outside. So it's, it's not keeping up, it's not good. We're in the middle of summer. So unfortunately we had to call the company that we got this AC unit from and they're gonna come out next week to take a look at it. Of course, it's not free. We have to pay $95 just for them to come and look at it. Oh my gosh, it's just like, can we catch a break with our air conditioning? It just stinks, 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 stinks. So not, not good, not a good situation.